That is a big old beast of a male. So the game plan this morning, a little bit different than where I left you guys last night. I'd planned on taking you catfishing last night. Had some pretty heavy storms roll through that knocked power out at the house. It didn't come back on until about 5.15 this morning. So I'm running on about two hours worth of sleep. Crappie bite was pretty good down here last night. So I figured I'd come down here and try and catch a quick limit of crappie. I'll see what happens. I'm going to start off vertical jigging for a little while, but I'll push a bobber up along these rocks across the other side of these docks. I was finding them pretty good up along the rocks yesterday. And I found a few up here. That didn't take long at all now, did it? Oh, he's Sprite. He is certainly Sprite. Woo! That ain't a bad way to start it off. Solid 11 inch fish. All right, let's see if we can get about nine more of them. We're gonna throw the cork at them. There he is. Well, that's not what we're looking for. Mr. Yellow Bass decided to come around. We'll let him go after he tore my plastic up. I don't care for him too much. Those things are notorious for that. That's something small, but it's a crappie. He's a pretty little guy. Get bigger. That's a better fish. At least he feels like it. No, nah, that's another yellow bass. That's why he felt like it. These little guys are mean, angry, and they fight like freaking crazy for no bigger than they are. They're pretty little fish. Well, I guess we'll give it a little tipping. We still may do some catfishing yet this morning. This crappie action isn't as hot as I would like it to be. We're gonna move on and go do some catfishing, I think. See, that's a problem about this time of year is I don't know which one to fish for. Always start off with crappie. Man, about the end of the spawn, middle of the spawn, I start dreaming about them big old blue cats. And it's awful hard, awful hard to stay fishing for these crappie right here. That's a better looking fish. I don't know if he'll go 10, but we'll take a look at him. Oh yeah, he's just a scotch over. We'll put him in the bucket. Well, that guy right there now, he was a fighter, no bigger than he was. He was not happy about being hooked. I 
I could have swore that was going to be like an 11 inch fish or something. Well, he's just a little guy. Easy there, big time. Better go back and get a little bit bigger. That one might be a little bit better fish. Yeah, look at him. That one ain't too bad. I think that'll pop 10 inches. Yep, I do believe. Yep. What we got? 30 minutes, three keepers, and a bunch of shorts. We're not after, off to a bad start this morning. Man, that's a real good fish, guys. That thing is a tanker. And he just inhaled it. Check him out. That is a big old beast of a male. And that jig is just all the way down the back of his throat. Dang, that's a pretty fish. <laughs> yeah, he's going back. That's too darn pretty of a fish to put in the bucket right there now. We'll get a measurement on him real quick, but dang, he is pretty. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Yep, he don't fit to the bumper. That's a 12 and a half inch. Big old tuxedoed out white crappie. He's a dandy. Let's get this pretty fish back in the water. He's a good breeder. You don't want to take them good breeders out. So we'll turn him loose. See you later, dude. You got YouTube? Yeah. What is it? Jigging with Jake. Jigging with Jake. You got it, man. Yeah, man, please do. You got it. I'll stick a dec hey, I'll stick a decal underneath your uh, windshield wiper. Oh, okay. Man, there's another fish just right in that same spot. That one's more like an eater right there. But they are just annihilating it right there. This fish, exact same thing, just choked it. Golly. But yeah, that's more like what we're after. Good eater. Probably about a ten and a quarter inch fish. Yep, ten and a half. We'll take that action all day long. All right, I'm not even going to throw that far back because the last two have literally just came like right, maybe three or four foot off to the right of me here. Yep, and there's another one. Boy, I just pulled him straight up out the water because he's just a little dinky guy. We may step down a little bit, throw down at them a little bit. So I'm not standing right on top of them. That's one thing I don't like doing. Find a school of fish, don't stand on top of it. Try and get yourself back away from it. You don't want to spook them fish off if they're schooled up. We'll go down this way. See if there's any down there. Look at that old chunker. Yep. 
Went to pull my britches up. Ended up with this little feller. I gotta get a lot bigger than that, bud. Get these britches pulled up here now. Get them up! Yeah, I tell y'all what, the water is still like chocolate milk down here. But it just goes to show, don't be afraid of fishing that stuff. And you still find fish. It doesn't have to be clear water. You catch fish just like this all day long. Dirty, muddy water. As long as you're using the right colors, y'all. Disco gold. Using the brush pile jigs uh, brush grub today. It's putting a hurting on them. I think this one here is probably going to go short, especially with the tattered up tail it's got, but we'll give her a little bumping. Little bumperoo. Bet you it goes nine. Probably shouldn't even walk down here to take a look at it. Nine and a half. Y'all check this out. I think those two adopted a couple. What do y'all think? There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There's like seventeen goslings there. Goslings, geeselings, whatever they are. But yeah, I think those two picked up somebody else's uh, group of chicks. Good job, guys. Good job. Foster parents, keep up the good work. All right, y'all, we're halfway there. We got five in the bucket. Five keepers in an hour ain't too bad. Definitely ain't going to complain about that. Boy, that pulls, he's pulling pretty good. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a freaking yellow bass. That's why he was pulling so hard. Freaking nine inch yellow bass feels like about a 15 inch crappie. Literally, these things pull like freaking freight trains. Awful fun. Just about ready to give up on this spot. That one probably went nine. Yeah, that's a good fish. Mm, no, it's not. He just put up a pretty good fight. Shoot, I thought that was going to be a good one. Well, we need one more fish, y'all. One more. Oh, missed that one. Pulled my skirt down. And yeah, y'all are going to notice that I switched up to the old ghost hunter. I'm out of disco gold. I'm going to have to see the folks of brush pile jigs and get stocked up, I guess. The way the spring's been, definitely been using more dirty water colors than clear, that's for sure. That's probably going to be number 10, y'all. Yep, I do believe that'll go 10. It's going to be just at. That's most of these fish I'm catching today. They're all just at 10. I've maybe got one 11 inch fish out of the mix, but that's all right. Oh, wait. 
Get your nose back in there, darn it. I mean, he is just under. Dang it. All right, well, we still need one more. Oh, that, oh my heavens me. Golly, that's frustrating. That was a darn good fish. Well, we're gonna go and try to vertical jig out our last one. I've only caught one today by vertical jig and everything else has came under the float. So let's see if I can't pull one more out of this spot right here. I do not have my head mount on, so this is a little bit of a bad uh, angle on the chest mount. But there was one more fish down there. I don't think he'll go 10, but hopefully there's another 10 down there. Yeah, that's probably about a nine inch fish. That would have been a 10 inch fish. Ah. Riding the struggle bus. They're making me work for a limit today, y'all. Got up to nine pretty quick, but old number 10, he's being elusive. All right, back to corking it. Nothing like missing number 10, not once, but twice due to poor hookups. It happens. All right. Not a 10 inch fish. Well, I can sure catch the small ones when I'm trying to catch my final one. Ain't no doubt about that. Yep, that one will work. Stay buttoned up for me now. There we go. All right, y'all, that'd be a limit. Not too shabby for a couple hours. All right, y'all, we're getting late in the spawn, but as you can see, you can still get on a good mess of crappie out here. So get out there, do some fishing, y'all. You can't catch them sitting on the couch. We'll see you on the next one.